What's up guys, Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Today what I have for you is just a quick uh, beat breakdown video. Something a little more in depth. I'm gonna try to show some on-screen stuff too, but just to uh, break down a, a track that I released a few weeks ago that some of you guys were asking in the comments about, you know, how this track came together and you know, the sample based or not. And the track was called Elevate. I had it advertised as like a Twista or Tech Nine style of beat. And the reason I had it labeled that way is because I thought it would really sound good with a double time or triple time rap over it. I think a lot of MCs could do something with this, but it was something a little bit different for me because of the type of sample that I use which I'll get into in just a minute. I actually found it from like a Middle Eastern soundtrack, I think a 70s, sound, early 70s soundtrack. If you haven't heard the track already, the hook sounds like. The first thing I had people asking me was, is it sample based or not? Yes, it is sample based. Like I said, it was a, uh, a Middle Eastern sample from time to time if I don't have a certain solid genre or certain type of track I'm trying to make. I have a few different hard drives I've mentioned before with various um, you know vinyl rips. Sometimes it takes me a little longer maybe to dig through some of those samples because I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just kind of listening for different sounds. But you know I stumbled across this soundtrack but I went through I think about four or five six of the tracks in the the rip but I'll go ahead and just play like a little snippet of kind of the sample piece you know, leading up to, and then actually the piece of the sample that I used uh, for the track. So this is kind of what it sounds like. This is what kind of caught my attention. Okay, so that's pretty much the, the section that, that kind of caught my attention. So a portion of the sample that I use in the in the beat is actually a partial loop. Now it wasn't a full loop because the way that, that that section was structured, it wasn't like a typical eight bars or it kind of was like off a little bit. So what I did was instead of chopping this sample up in MIDI format and triggering the different sample chops in MIDI like I do with a number of my um, sample based tracks, I actually went ahead and just drug in, I highlighted and selected the section of the audio that I wanted to use and I put that into just an audio um, track in Ableton and started manipulating the sample further in audio format. Um, so I'm going to show you on screen, you see this part is actually, you know, all loop. I ended up taking a little piece of audio and substituting it in here. So basically I'm doing my sample chops in this case in just in audio format. Certain tracks like this in samples that already have a large uh, portion of the sample that's loopable, I'll tend to work with the samples in audio format so you can kind of um, hear what this sounds like. <laughs> way that that sounded. I really like that vocal piece at the beginning and so I just started going with this. I did end up doing some little variation throughout the track. There's a, there's a section I think like the, the second half of the second verse. I went ahead and did like some little extra chops and little little um, variation there. So that was something just a little bit different than the main loop that I have for the majority of the track. But that kind of started the foundation and that little lute or string the instrument that's playing throughout already gives it kind of a little rhythm. It's got a little rhythmic pattern to it. So next I wanted to go ahead and kind of accentuate the rhythm a little bit more and kind of get a better groove for the track. And I'm into some newer drum packs that I, was, that I haven't really used that much yet. I wanted to go and explore and see what was in them, use some you know one shots, use some loops if they had them, whatever. And I found this, it was like a little uh, percussion, like a clap loop. And I did vary it a little bit, as you can probably see here on screen. You can see that I changed it up and, and manipulated the audio, but it started with, as a basic loop. This is what it sounds like soloed. And 
than uh, with the sample. Again, it's just something subtle, just gives it a little extra percussion, gives it a little extra movement, and now is when I went in and started adding the kick and snares. Layered two kicks together, uh, layered, looks like three snares together. The kick drum was one was a little more gritty, and then we got one that's got a little more low in. And this other, this low end kick actually has like an 808 tail on it. I've got the two kicks layered together, and they're hitting for every single time the kick hits. But one thing that I did is, on certain, I think it looks like every four kicks, I've got the tail end of that 808, that low end kick that kind of plays out. So you got three short kicks and then you got one that kind of extends a little bit and you'll hear that in the final track. I did additionally add a bass line and, and things which we'll get into, but um, I just kind of like the way that it sounded and went with it. So for the snare, I've got a clap. I've got like, um, I don't even know, I almost call it some, some sort of like a rim shot to an extent and then another snare and I just layered those together to get uh, this sound. <laughs> 